Hey plant gang, really one of the plants that I've gotten to really like in the landscape is something that I knew growing up as a house plant, and this is Aspidispora aladier. This is the cast iron plant, and man, it is tough like cast iron. Uh, it is one that we started to incorporate uh, here in zone 6B, 7A, uh, as a landscape plant particularly in protected areas. I'm, I've got a variegated cultivar in front of me uh, and there are a lot of different cultivars that incorporate different kind of patterns of variegation that can be quite nice in the landscape. Once established, this plant is one of the toughest plants in the home landscape, in particular in zone 7B and above. Uh, it's one that you can really incorporate into hot, dry locations, uh, ones that really uh, a plant that can really be added to a, a spot where, man, it's just one of those tough places to be in the landscape. Uh, it's a tough plant. Let's come in a little bit closer and let's talk a little bit more about the cast iron plant. So we're going to list this as a herbaceous perennial. It's native to China or Japan. It's probably best to list this as hardy from zones 8 through 10. Uh, maybe a soft zone 7 in some cases in protected areas, uh, but probably a little bit safer to list this from hardy from zones 8 through 10. Uh, can be 2 to 3 foot high, spreading out just 1 to 2 foot wide. You're not going, it does have a bloom that it does put on, uh, but that's not really why we're growing it in the landscape. We're really growing it uh, for this foliage, in particular, some of these variegated cultivars. Uh, commonly, again, called cast iron plant for its ability to survive significant cultural abuse in the home landscape. Uh, it's a great plant, one that you should think about adding. Uh, in particular, as you get into those colder zones, 7B, uh, 8A, uh, it's going to be a, a plant that people uh, find unexpected when they see it in the landscape, in particular if they're used to seeing it as an interior plant. So you want to grow this in a shadier situation uh, when it's out in the home landscape. Uh, you know, typically if it was an interior plant, we would say put it in indirect sunlight. Uh, that would be a good thing as an interior plant. Uh, but when we grow it in the home landscape outside, uh, we're going to want to put this primarily in a shady situation. And it can handle those dry periods in a shady situation. It can handle the understory situations with dry shade as well. Uh, it is a plant uh, that is a little bit unexpected, again, in the home landscape. Uh, in particular for people who are used to seeing this as an interior plant. Here's a landscape tip. This is a rugged house plant or an unexpected plant to add to protected areas in the home landscape.